What's going on, everybody? Gentleman94 here. Welcome back to Ben Builds. It has been a little bit of some time, guys, a couple of weeks, but we're back on the Albatross. This is episode number 14, and I'm hoping to get a little bit more work done on this today and get it one step closer to being finished. We, of course, still have future to do. We have landing gears, a rear tail assembly to put together. We have, of course, decals and final weathering. So there's a lot left to do. So let's dive on in, see what we can get done today. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the landing gears. Now we have a couple of struts we have to install. We have an axle and we have a support beam to connect those two struts. A little bit of work to do for sure. Now last episode I used my airbrush and we airbrushed a very cool flat red color here on these wheels. I got to tell you, I think that looks fantastic. But today though, we have to go ahead and paint on the tires and that's going to have to be a NATO black. Now to do that, there's a couple of different ways to go ahead and mask off that center section. Since this doesn't come with any masks, it's a weekend edition kit. So I got to make my own. You could score it using a template and a punch, or I'm going to be using this. This is a circle cutter. This is going to be able to cut a very cool circle. And I got to tell you, I haven't had a lot of opportunity to use this before. So I'm excited to go ahead and give it a try. So we're pretty much set. All we have to do is pull the tape out, get the measurements and see what we can do. So we have some frog tape here and we have to first settle on a size. Now I can take my circle hole cutter and we can take our wheel and I'm going to measure from the center hub all the way to the outer edge of the disc or the inner edge of the wheel. Then we're going to unhook this little sliding thing. As you can see, it's got a lot of motion here. We're going to, I'm going to eyeball it. I'm going to say right about there. Yeah. And we're going to lock it down. Now this hopefully should give us a nice cut. I'm going to press that center compass point right into my cutting board and I'm going to angle this a little bit forward and just give it a nice twist. There we are. Maybe make a few passes to make sure that this actually did cut through this tape. It should blaze pretty sharp. A couple of turns. There we go. Now let's go ahead and see how this turned out. Let's go ahead and take my pin vise and we'll pull up this mask just like that. Let's grab some tweezers. There we are. So you can see cut a very nice little circle. But because it's raised and there's an axle right in the middle of that wheel, we have to go ahead and uh, account for that. So I've taken the liberty of using my template to cut a small hole in the center of my larger mask. And that's going to be just real dirty, real simple. I'm just going to rip the uh, center section out using my pin vise just to give it a, a basic, you know, shape. Then I'm going to take my circle cutter, put that right in the center there and then slice a couple of circles with that. There we are, just like that. And that's gonna give us a center section that's gonna be cut out, and then we can just stick some tape over top of that and we should be good to go. So let's pull this up, just like that. There we are. And we can put it right down on top of that wheel and that should give us a really nice fit. We're gonna use NATO black for the actual tires. I like NATO black a lot because it's not too stark, it's not too black. It's a really nice looking color. So I'm going to go ahead and load up in the airbrush, cue the time lapse, and let's go ahead and get some painting and get those wheels ready to go. While those parts dry, I went ahead and took the liberty of installing the bottom struts for the landing gears. So you can see there's a right and a left section, and then there's a support beam right in the middle of that. I also went ahead and put on two turnbuckles into some holes I drilled into the fuselage. So you can see it's pretty even, pretty centered. I like it. I approve. Now the axle itself I've noticed is a bit long. So I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to install one side into the actual wheel. Then once that's dry, I'm going to then position it where I think it should be, cut down the axle, and then glue the other wheel on. I think that's going to be the best course of action here. So we're just going to clean everything up and get those ready, get it installed onto one wheel, and I think we should be decent. 
So you can see here we have to put it down from the top to the bottom, and then we have to position it kind of in the center of this curved part of the struts. So I'm going to use my Tamiya Extra Thin Cement, as I always do. Drop a little bit right in the center wheel there, and let's just install this axle right in the middle. A little bit of pressure. This thing should solidify. It's already very tacky, so we're good with that. I'm going to set this aside, and instead, we're going to turn our attention to a little bit of some brush painting. Now, the cockpit itself has this kind of leather ring right around where the pilot actually sits, and I need to go ahead and paint that. So we're going to be using some basic brown. I'm just going to paint this by hand, which is not easy for me to do. I'm not really adept at brush painting, but we're going to use our best skills we can, paint up this ring, see how we can do with that. Not bad, not bad at all. I have to say I'm not really adept at brush painting, but this turned out decently enough. I always find it difficult to get those really smooth straight lines. My hands tend to shake a little bit, but I'm happy with this. Now we have the tail plane we need to go ahead and attach to the fuselage. I'm going to do that with super glue, and I'm just going to position the tail plane where it needs to be, and then I'm going to lock it in place with super glue. That'll give me a nice quick adhesion. We can come back a little bit later once we have everything lined up, and we can drop some extra thin Tamiya, and that should be decent enough. So I'm not sure if you guys have run across this issue here with this kit, if you have built this kit before, but I don't seem to have any sort of piping for the radiator and the engine. Because typically an albatross has a couple of pipes that go from the radiator down to the engine to water cool the engine. There's nothing like that in this kit for some reason. Usually the pipe comes out of the front of the engine, hangs off to the right side of the plane, curves up to the actual bottom side of the radiator, and uh, there's another pipe that comes down from that radiator and in back into the engine. I don't see anything here in the part breakdowns or anything on the kit itself that lists those parts. Even in the instructions themselves, they do not call out any sort of piping for the radiator. I find this to be odd. I don't know if you guys have run across this or I'm just completely blind and I just don't see where it says anything about these parts, but I don't see anything. So we're going to have to make them. Now, in order to make these parts, I'm going to go ahead and stretch some sprue. To do that, we're going to need some pieces of sprue. I'm just going to cut these off of the actual just waste product here from the albatross. Just a few. We don't need that many. We need a candle, so I'm going to light that bad boy up. Now we're going to stretch that sprue. We're going to try to make a few different sizes, probably like two, like two or three different sizes. And then we're going to be able to cut, bend, and make ourselves our piping. So let's go ahead and jump on it and see what we can do. Okay, as we can see here, that's about the right size. A little bit more than I need, but that's okay. Because we're going to have to make some bends, we're going to have to make some cuts to get this thing lined up. So we're going to take my pin vise, and on the end of this piece of plastic, we're going to use that pin vise to make a U-shape. Now I'm going to position this right at the end, really give it a lot of pressure. I want to bend it into a nice U. Yeah, that's about what I'm looking for right there. Now, what we're going to do with that is we're going to cut off the end of that U, leaving just a curve at the very end of the pipe, just like that. Hopefully, you guys can see that it curves in and somewhat back on itself. That will be plugged in to the front of the engine. So I'll show you it goes right about 
there. I've gone ahead and made one cut, and this is about the length that I need. Let's go ahead and make a little curve at the end of this. To do that, I'm going to use this plain old awl, and I'm just going to make a nice curve right like that. There we go. Now the piece itself is going to curve inward to the left, and then it's going to curve up at the back. And that curve up is going to then fit into the bottom of the wing by the radiator, and then the curve to the left is going to fit into the front of the engine. Now we also need to make a secondary pipe, and I have just one stretch of sprue here. It's a bit kinked, but that's okay because I want a little bit of bend in it because it needs to fit in a somewhat specific area. It's got to go right in between the engine and the sidewall, right about there. I think that's going to be decent enough. Then we can go ahead and fix it up, clean it up, and then curve it slightly, plug that into the underside of the radiator, right about there. I think that should be decent enough. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and get on that and see what we can do. So I'm taking a little bit of super glue and I'm just attaching them more or less tacked into place. Then I'm going to come back and drop a little Tamiya extra thin to really make sure they don't go anywhere. The front of the pipe as well, we need to go ahead and make sure that fits in with the curved part in the front hooking into the front of the engine and then the rear part right there hooking into the back of the radiator. Yeah, that works out. Okay, so I'm going to take this pipe and let's take a little bit off the back just to make sure that it fits flush with where I want it to fit. Use my tweezers. Let's go ahead and grab onto that. And you know what? I'm going to dip this into my super glue and then we'll be able to attach that. And we'll position this in the front of the engine, hooking that in place and then bending the back into that actual locating pin right about there. Nice. All right, guys, we are pretty much ready to let this sit and let this dry. Next episode, we'll come on back and we'll do a little painting on this. But as you can see, this is about what I was going for. You have two pipes that go up into that radiator, one that goes in front of the engine and the one goes back to the rear of the engine. I think this is pretty decent. So we're going to go ahead and call it here for today, guys. I know it doesn't seem like we've done a lot, but we have done quite a bit. Next episode, we're going to come on back. We're going to push this forward and get some future applied onto this kit so that we can get the decals on and get to weathering. Till next time, guys, keep on building, and we will see you back here next week on Ben Builds. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you soon.